Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Longley, Samuelum Titi, and Eric Garcia. And the main reason why we want to talk about these three players in today's video, it is because right now, Barcelona do have to remodel just what this club should look like in the next season. Because in the next season, there is going to be a massive overhaul within this club because Joan Laporta is the new president of FC Barcelona. He thinks that the image of this FC Barcelona team should be completely changed. And I think that just looking at looking at the defenders, right? Since we are talking about the defenders for today, looking at the def looking at this defensive line and the options that we have right now, I think that right now we do have a lot of options, but I think, but I also do believe that that is also the problem because if you look at Barcelona in this current season, you would assume that Barcelona actually do not have a lot of options in that back line, but we actually do. We actually do have a lot of center backs and left center backs and right center backs and center center backs in our defensive line. But the problem that I have been seeing throughout the whole course of this season is that Ronald Koeman doesn't really rely on many of these center backs that Barcelona that Barcelona currently do have, and that is a very big problem and I do think that when Laporta came in into this club he was probably looking at this and saying there are many center backs and many defenders in this squad that Ronald Koeman does not even use and I also do want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor which is the one football app the one football app has always been considered to be the best football app out there within the app store there is no other better app when it comes to getting the latest news, the latest score lines, the latest on what's currently going on in the football world. There is no better app than the One Football app. So as for us FC Barcelona fans, we could go into the app and we can see just where FC Barcelona is at within the league table. We can see what round we are in the Champions League. Anything going on in FC Barcelona, even when it comes to the injuries of the Barcelona squad, we, everything could be seen within the One Football app. And I do want to thank the One Football app for sponsoring this video and supporting a content creator such as me through YouTube. But now let's get back into the video. Well, let's just let's anal actually let's analyze these players, see if they actually see if they can actually perform under Kuman, and if they do not bring the results that that is expected coming from a Barcelona center back or a, or a left center back or a left back or a right back, then let's strategize to see just what who is out there that can bid for this player. Because right now there are many players in that defensive line that are actually just sitting there not being used and while they're and while they're not being used they're demanding a very high fee like a very high wage and that is a very big problem and so that is why we are going to be talking about someone um titi longley and Eric Garcia, because look, Barcelona want to sell. Barcelona want to sell in this coming summer because Barcelona want to buy other players out there that is mandatory in certain positions. Like for example, the striker position, the midfield position, maybe even the left back position, who knows? But Barcelona, Laporta, Mateo Alemani, they want to sell. They want to sell in this coming summer. And the th and the two names that have been talked about so much has been Samuel Titi and Longley. And I am not surprised. I am not surprised to see that these two names are coming up first within the transfer list for Joan Laporta's FC Barcelona in the next season. And that is that. And it's and it's and it saddens me, right? It really saddens me. It saddens me because these are two Frenchman players, right? These are two world class players. These are also two World Cup winners. And especially Samuel Umtiti. Samuel Umtiti has been astronomical for, for the French national team. And we're talking about two or three years ago. And he has been playing and he did have a very good season in his first season with FC Barcelona. And then as for Longley, he was always he was always considered as a center back that came into the Barcelona team as a newbie, a player that we were going to be strategizing how can we continue to develop this player because he was a young center back. He was not a center back that was around 27, 28 years old. I know that he does seem kind of old. I know that his body structure and the way that he is framed, he does seem a little he does seem a little old, but Longley is a defender that is only 25 years old. And we did buy him about three years ago. So he was around 22, 23 years old. And so there is a lot of time on Longley and Samuel Lumtiti. But the problem is, is that Longley they, look, these two center backs that we are talking about, they both have their own separate pop, their own separate problems, right? Samuel Lumtiti has been showing that he has he he has not been able to perform at that level because of his knee injury. And every time Samuel Lumtiti gets into the 
onto the field, we see him make many mistakes. Like, yes, he has those moments where he has those brilliant moments where he likes to pass the ball into the into the midfield or into the forward line. But sometimes he makes these mistakes that greatly do cost FC Barcelona. As for Longley, this is a, this is a whole different, completely different case because when it comes to Longley, right? Longley has not experienced many injuries. He is not suffering from another injury like Samuel Umtiti. But what Longley has been doing, right? And I think that this is what makes his case worse than Samuel Umtiti is the fact that knowing that Longley has no injury compared to Samuel Umtiti, Longley hasn't been performing at the level that he should be performing at and he has been having a great and he look in Longley's first season he played very well which was the 2018-2019 season he was playing very well with Gerard Piquet covering all of the areas doing what he was supposed to do but then going into the 2019-2020 season we saw some weaknesses we saw some we saw some flaws within the center back and that was not okay because when you are a player that plays well in the first season and then give out a performance like he did in the 2019-2020 season that is a problem because you're not progressing where you're going is going through a down slope and then going into the 2020 2021 season which is this current season Longley has been having a disaster class and this is me not saying that Longley is a trash player that he should be he should be away from FC Barcelona as far away from FC Barcelona as as fast as possible I'm not saying that right I'm never going to be that analyzer that says oh he had a bad performance let's kick him out but what Longley has been doing, and this has been very consistent, is that Longley has been doing many mistakes, and especially in those first three to four months under Ronald Koeman. Now, as of late, in the past four to five matches, Longley has been performing very well. But but I do believe that overall, if you were to assess the whole course of this current season, he is having he is having almost the exact same season like in the 2019-2020 season. He has been atrocious. And I think that if Barcelona want to improve, if you want to improve your your defensive line if you want to get better if you want to compete against the cities against the Real Madrid's the Bayern Munich's the Atletico Madrid's your defensive line has to get better and looking at Longley and looking at Samuel Umtiti it is just not good enough and as we can see here according to Ferran Martinez that Barcelona will be attentive to the market opportunities that arrive for Longley in this coming summer which basically means that Barcelona are more than open to look at the opportunities of other bids that other clubs may offer to Barcelona for Longley. And that is a huge, huge deal. Not in a good way, but in a bad way. Because I think that we are finally starting to see the beginning of a potential departure of Longley. And it's very unfortunate because I really wanted Longley to do very well with FC Barcelona, but that hasn't been the case. And then right here, he continues to say that Barcelona want to let go of Samuel Umtiti this summer and then get an affordable, low-cost left center back. And there has been center backs that Barcelona have been looking at. And whatever we are talking about in this video is that these center backs that Barcelona has been looking at is nothing concrete, nothing very serious. It's just, they are just examples just who these center backs are what are their potentials can they provide great value to FC Barcelona so here are the three defenders that Barcelona are looking at when it comes to a left-footed center back they're looking at Alessio Romagnoli they're looking at Lisandro Martinez and Asi Mandi three left-footed center backs that Barcelona are currently looking at now I'm not going to go into two I'm not going to go into further detail when we talk about these three center backs what because right now the main focus is going to continue to be on Samuel Titi and Longley and one of the things that I do want to point out right now is just how Ronald Koeman was using his center back options. And we're not going to be talking about Gerard Piquet because I do believe that Piquet is going to continue with Barcelona on to the next season. But I want to talk about Araujo. Longley, Minguesa, and Samuel Umtiti. So looking at Ronald Araujo, we can see that Araujo has played in a total of 25 matches under Ronald Koeman in this season and has started in a total of 19 games. Longley has participated in a total of 39 matches and started in a total of 33 games. Looking at Minguesa, he has participated in a total of 30 matches and started in a total of 25 games. And then going into Samuel Umtiti, this is, this is no surprise because Samuel Umtiti has been encountering some injuries and ever since that injury ever since he did come back it just seems like Kuman does not want to count on Samuel Umtiti at all so Samuel Umtiti has participated in a total of 13 games 
and started in a total of seven. Now, looking at these four center backs, right? Let's look at Ronald Araujo first. First of all, we can see that Araujo has played less games than Longley, but Araujo has been the clear winner when it comes to who is much preferred in the defensive line. It would be Ronald Araujo, but he has started in less games than Longley and has played less and has played less games than Longley. And the only reason why these numbers are looking like this, it is because Araujo has experienced an injury that took him out for a couple of games. Then looking at Longley, we can see that Longley has started in a total of 33 games out of 39. And he is the only center back that has been used the most. Now, looking at these numbers, what makes us believe, right? What makes me say that even though Longley has been used the most, Longley is actually one of the center backs that could be transferred out from FC Barcelona once we do go into the next season. It is because I think that when you have more matches under your belt, you're going to be showing who you really are. You're going to be showing what type of center back you really are for FC Barcelona. And that has always been the case, not just in Barcelona, but in Real Madrid, in Atletico Madrid, in Man City, everywhere in the world of football. That has always been the case. The more games you have, the more data you do portray onto the clubs, onto the media to show who you really are, you're going to be showing the quality that you actually do have. And then let's look at Minguesa. Minguesa has started in a total of 25 games and participated in a total of 30. He is also a player that is, that is considered as a work in progress. Very similar to Ronald Araujo, but just looking at these numbers again, it is quite clear that Ronald Koeman has used Longley the most, but he has also seen who Longley actually is. And I do, and someone actually told me a couple of days ago, a couple of weeks ago, actually, that the only reason why Longley had a great first season, it was because he consistently played with Gerard Piquet, a, a experienced center back that, that knows exactly how to handle a defensive line. And in this current season, because Piquet has been out for so long, it has shown the true colors of who Longley actually is. So as of now, this is going to be the final conclusion. It is quite clear that Barcelona will be looking to sell Longley and Samuel Umtiti for different reasons. I really, really wished that these two center backs that Barcelona have signed could have done well with FC Barcelona, but overall assessing the past few years that they have had with FC Barcelona, it has not been good enough. And especially for some, and, it's, and again, it is very sad to see that Samuel Umtiti, a player, a center back that was a World Cup winner has to come down to this level. I really wished that Samuel Umtiti could have done more for FC Barcelona, but it is what it is. It is and right now Barcelona are looking at the market to see who are they who could they be signing in the next couple of months right now Barcelona's next center back signing is most likely going to be Eric Garcia but it says here according to Cat Radio that Barcelona have offered Eric Garcia a lowered salary but only for the first year in the same scale as the rest of the squad his salary is going to be growing gradually as he continues to play with Barcelona season after season so I do assume that there is going to be a deal between Eric Garcia, Barcelona, and the agents. I know that there has been other rumors circulating around the media that Eric Garcia is not okay with being paid that low in his first few seasons. But everyone's going to have to go through this, right? Eric Garcia is going to have to understand that many of these players that are already in Barcelona are going to have to take that pay cut. It was reported a couple of weeks ago that Eric Garcia was going to be offered a three million a year contract with FC Barcelona. But then this report did come out after that report. So I do assume that he will be paid lower than three million euros, which could be around maybe two million euros, maybe one million euro in the first season with FC Barcelona. This is going to be something that Eric Garcia is going to have to really think about. I do assume and I do expect Eric Garcia to make the right decision and come back to FC Barcelona because throughout the past 12 months, the only thing we have been hearing coming from Eric Garcia is that he wants to return back into the club. And even if he, ha and even if he has to take a pay cut, he wants to come back and I would be very surprised to hear that if Eric Garcia pay gives his attention towards the other clubs maybe another team like Bayern Munich maybe another team like Inter Milan who knows but there are other clubs out there that are bidding for Eric Garcia and if Eric Garcia and the agents deny the proposal from FC Barcelona only because of the pay cut that he will be taking, I will be very, very disappointed. And in the end, Eric Garcia is a great center back. Eric Garcia has shown with Man City a few times that he can be a great center back. He is also being greatly utilized under Luis Enrique in the Spanish national team. About a couple of weeks ago during that international break, Eric Garcia was being heavily utilized. 
it is quite clear that Enrique does like Eric Garcia. The players that he likes to use the most within the Spanish squad is Ansu Fati, Eric Garcia, Pedri. That is his current plans with the Spanish national team and Eric Garcia is within those plans. And the fact that Luis Enrique is a coach that counts on Eric Garcia, this should, this should show us that Eric Garcia is quality. He may not be the most physical defender that Barcelona needs, but he is a player that is great on the ball. A player that could and most likely will replace Gerard Piquet. But that's going to be it for today's Barcelona Daily News. Thank you guys so much for watching. The pre-match previews are going to be coming within the next 24 hours. So stay tuned for that. Please like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you guys in the next video.